Welcome to the Weekday Report for Monday, September 22nd. I'm Jeffrey Zampanti. Here's a brief look at the news. One person was killed and three people injured early Sunday in a crash caused by a wrong-way driver on I-94 north of Highway 142 in Summers. The crash happened when a white pickup was heading south in the northbound lanes just before 1 in the morning. A state trooper stopped the truck, but the driver kept going until hitting another pickup truck head-on. One person in that second pickup is dead and another seriously injured. The driver who was heading the wrong way has life-threatening injuries and a passenger in that vehicle was hurt too. The master plan for Penoyer Park has successfully passed another level of municipal approval. The City Plan Commission has voted in favor of the plan, which calls for improvements to the park's bathrooms, parking lot, and walkways. A redesigned band shell is included too, along with a new walking bridge over the Pike River. The City Council will vote on the plan soon. Though it's likely to get that okay, Mayor Keith Bosman said work is years away. About 30 volunteers work from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Saturday to clean the Pike River and its banks. A lawnmower, a computer, and 15 tires were among the debris they pulled out of the water. The volunteers included Boy Scouts, church groups, and supporters of the Kenosha Sport Fishing and Conservation Association, which organized the cleanup. Also Saturday, several area departments took part in the 8th Annual Kenosha County Safety Fair. The event was held at Sam's Club. A Flight for Life crew was there with a helicopter, and there were plenty of safety demonstrations. Holiday House registration is underway. Families that qualify can register, and later this year they'll receive coats, toys, and food. To find out if your family qualifies or to get more information, call Holiday House at 697-4500. Saturday was a big day for the Central Girls Volleyball team. Mike Johnson has the story. The Central Girls Volleyball team went 5-0 on Saturday to claim the championship in the seven-team Kenosha Crush Tournament at Tremper. The Falcons didn't drop a set all day, defeating Tremper 25-23, 25-15 in the championship match. The Trojans won 3-1 on the day in placing second. In the third place match, Christian Life defeated Indian Trail 25-13, 27-25. Mike Johnson, Kenosha News. What's trending today? It's official. Another summer has ended and fall is here. Some folks like the autumn decorations, others enjoy the beauty of Wisconsin at this time of year. How about you? What's your favorite thing about fall? Tell us on our Facebook page. Up next is David Marin with the Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. A big performance and a big win. I'm Kenosha News Sports Editor David Marin with the Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. Shoreland quarterback Jake Anderson, number nine, was a dangerous double threat on Saturday. Anderson had a hand in four touchdowns as the Pacers smoked Thomas Moore 42 to nothing in a Metro Classic Conference game in St. Francis. Anderson was seven of 10 for 233 yards and three touchdowns and also rushed four times for 74 yards and a touchdown as the Pacers improved to 3-2 and 2-1 and and in the conference. Congratulations, Jake. The Athletic Republic Kenosha News Athlete of the Week. Thanks, Dave. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. Tonight, the City Council will consider the streetcar routes. Terry Flores is covering that and there will be a public hearing on amending the land use plan in Pleasant Prairie for a 96-unit assisted living facility. Bill Guida will be there. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com. For all the details on these stories and more, I'm Jeffrey Zampanti with the Weekday Report.